On the heels of the merger between Warner Brothers Pictures and Discovery, there have been a litany of cancelled projects which have led us to ask ourselves, WHAT THE HELL IS GOING ON HERE?! Since the Dark Knight trilogy was completed to critical acclaim, DC movies have been packed with issues, which includes rushing projects to compete with Marvel, their productions being plagued by casting crew troubles, as well as production and release delays that put video game companies to shame. In this video, we're going to go through which of the DC projects have been cancelled, which are confirmed, and which are in limbo. One of the first victims of the merger was the live-action Wonder Twins movie. Announced in early 2022, it only took Discovery CEO David Zaslav a matter of months to decide that the project didn't fit the new DC film strategy. The most high-profile item in this video is probably the Batgirl movie, which was set to be completed this year and represented $90 million of investment from Warner Brothers, which got scrapped right at the end of the production phase. Another shocker was HBO Max pulling Batman Caped Crusader. Even though it won't be produced by HBO, the project will continue. Among the production team are J.J. Abrams, Matt Reeves, and Bruce Timm, so we're pretty confident the series will find a home. There was going to be a bunch of Suicide Squad spinoffs like Harley Quinn vs. Joker, Cyborg, Deathstroke, Deadshot, all of which have been cancelled, shifted into other projects, or have just been suspended indefinitely. It seems it's not just the films being affected either. Nearly all the CW shows are ending, the exceptions being Superman and Lois and Gotham Knights. So that means no more Legends of Tomorrow, Batwoman, or The Flash. Not to be confused with The Flash movie. Even though the CW shows are wildly popular, there doesn't seem to be any plans to develop any new ones. We'll use this as a lazy segue into DC projects that are still happening. Peacemaker was a huge hit for HBO Max. Each episode received a higher viewership than the last, with the season finale breaking the record for the highest single-day viewership on the platform. Season 2 is set to begin filming in 2023 after James Gunn wraps up on Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. Titans is currently filming its fourth season, which should see a spring or summer release in 2023, but no official date has been set. Similarly, Doom Patrol Season 4 has officially wrapped, but no release date has been announced. Keep an eye out for a video essay about Doom Patrol by our very own producer and editor James, coming Quack. soon. With the wave of cancellations, many were concerned about the Blue Beetle. Warner Brothers Discovery was quiet for a while, but now it seems the Blue Beetle film is still on track for August 2023. There's also Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. With the constant delays either for reshoots or waiting for the Amber Heard business to die down, it was originally slated for December 25th, 2022, and got pushed back to March 17th, 2023. It pushed again and is currently set to release on Christmas Day, 2023. Speaking of delays, Shazam! Fury of the Gods was originally supposed to come out on April 1st, 2022, then was delayed to November 4th, 2022, then to December 21st, 2022, but was delayed again to that March 17th, 2023 slot where Aquaman 2 used to be. Then there's the highly anticipated Black Adam movie, originally set to release on December 22nd, 2021, which is going to hit theaters next month on October 21st, 2022. And finally, there's The Flash, which may prove to have the longest delays of them all. When the film was announced, it had a release date for March in 2018, but didn't have a director until Andy Muschietti signed on in 2019, and didn't even start production until April 2021. Since then, we've seen its release be pushed from June 1st, 2022, all the way to its current release date, June 23rd, 2023, even though there's more rewrites happening now. Suffice to say that DC movies seem to be cursed. But despite the cancellations and delays, there's still a huge demand for these movies to come out, especially since we're really excited to see Grant Gustin in The Flash, which we've done a video on and you can check it out here. Thanks for watching and see you next time.